how an AED works. The ECG strip you are going to see is from Steve's actual save, a real person who is alive today because of an AED and some good Samaritans who took action. Once you turn on an AED, the machine will begin to speak to you. Follow the voice prompts. Once the pads have been placed, the AED will instruct you to stand clear and to not touch the patient, while it does an ECG of the heart. The AED is designed to determine if the heart is in a normal rhythm, or if it needs to be shocked. In this case, the heart is in ventricular fibrillation, the most common rhythm when someone goes into sudden cardiac arrest. Notice how the heart is not beating effectively. It has electrical activity, but it is uncoordinated. The heart looks like it is shaking like a bowl of jelly. When in this rhythm, you can see the heart is not effectively pumping any blood out. This rhythm is deadly and has to be stopped. When the AED reads a shockable rhythm, the AED will either instruct you to press the shock button or some AEDs are automatic and will automatically shock the person. At this point, no one should be touching the patient. The AED will send an electrical current through the heart and back again. The purpose of this shock is to stop the heart completely for a very short period of time from this uncoordinated rhythm and give it time to reset. Notice how the shock stopped all the electrical activity in Steve's heart for a brief period. Seconds after this shock, our own SA node, the pacemaker of our heart, will try to regain control of the heart and tell the rest of the heart when to squeeze. It can take up to two minutes for the heart to reorganize itself electrically after a shock before it will function again and effectively pump blood to the brain. This is why you will be instructed to begin CPR immediately after the shock. Your job is to push hard and fast in the center of the chest in order to manually pump blood to the brain to keep the brain alive. Your compressions will not interfere with the heart trying to reorganize itself electrically, so do not worry about that. After two minutes, the AED will instruct you to stop CPR. It will reanalyze the heart and advise whether another shock is needed. Always listen to the machine and follow the voice prompts. In Steve's case, the ECG picked up a healthy rhythm and therefore a second shock was not advised. In Steve's case, only one shock was required to bring him back to life. Steve's heart continues to beat and he is alive and with us today.